Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. I want to tell you about some of the things that this person that came up to me in one of the booths that I've been in, and I was in Whitesboro down by Utica. And the guy came in and, and we get talking a little bit and he tells me he's a farmer, a crop farmer down, or I say down now for us, but in this case, he had, he had come down to Whitesboro in the, in the Lowville area. And so we talked a lot about fishing, but he also talked to me about changes that he is seeing in the world around him, in all the outdoors that is part of his farm. And this guy appeared to be a very successful farmer. And he takes he, he has the luxury of taking certain time to enjoy his passion, which is fishing and hunting. Well, one of the things he talked about is he raises soybeans. And he says it's very interesting to watch the deer. He says the deer love soybeans when they're in their beginning stage, when they're, when they're easy for the deer to feed on, and they apparently just love them. But he says he sees a change once those soybeans become mature. Now, as he watches, he sees the deer will often go in the middle of the soybean field and they'll lay down and they'll feed, stretching their necks upward. He says it's the, the strangest thing that he's ever witnessed. And I, I find it fascinating. He says it's almost like he watches him. It's like a cow chewing its cud, whatever. And I found that fascinating. But here's what I found even more interesting. He said that he's noticed over the last several years that the areas that the deer go to now to feed are very different than they were before. And why are they different? Because of the increase in the number of coyotes. And he says he now sees that the deer will feed in the middle of a field. Normally, they won't because they feel danger that way. If they're out in the open, they have less ability to retreat to a safer area in the deep woods. But they feel they're safer now by being in the open because they can be more aware of the coyotes coming towards them. In the woods, the coyotes can sneak up on them and, and, and put them at peril. He says he sees the same thing with turkeys. He says, I see now the turkeys are feeding more in the middle of fields rather than along the edges. You know, in the past, when we look for deer, if we're just driving along, we usually will see them near the edge of a field, not out in the middle, because they have a lot farther to escape danger. But now we're seeing a difference. And I've noticed it too. I've, I, of course, we have so many turkey now that you see them all over. They'll fly and get hit by cars and so forth. But it, it, it's really interesting to hear people that they're out there every day. This is his life. This is his farmer's life. He's out in his fields every day of his life. So he really gets to see things that we would only now and then see passing by. And so it just tells me that the world is constantly evolving at a much greater rate than it ever has before because of global changes, because of technological changes, and everything that lives in the world around us has to adapt to these changes or they won't survive. And I find this about the deer feeding in the middle of the field to avoid the coyotes a really interesting take. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.